In the past, I've tried a few times to build a micro home for eight sims, which is a massive challenge. To fit eight sims and 32 tiles and have space for them all to sleep, them all to eat, you need a bathroom, you need a living space. I mean, to fit that in such a small amount of space is near impossible. But this week, they added bunk beds to The Sims, which obviously makes this challenge significantly easier because suddenly we can sleep all those Sims in half the space. So I was thinking that today we could try it again and attempt to build a micro home for eight Sims. I've got a big family here, two parents, and there's six kids. There's four children and two teens. When you start out with eight Sims, you get about 32,000 simoleons to begin with, so money shouldn't be an issue. Our problem is with space. Just for some context, that is 32 tiles. It's really not big. And keep in mind, we need at least this much space just for beds. I think you can technically fit them like this. Oh, I wonder if we could get, like, a couple of bedrooms. Look, imagine if we did it like that. Oh, interesting. We'll figure it out, but we need at least that many tiles just to fit the beds Ideally the parents would have a double bed, but I don't know if that's gonna work out for us We'll have to see how it goes, but then we also need a kitchen. We need a bathroom We want to have a couch. I mean like this stuff all adds up so fast. I'm really not sure how it's gonna go <laughs> But we're gonna give it a shot and there is one sort of tricky thing that you can do Because micro homes are based off of how many tiles the house is this one has to be 32 tiles to stay a micro home but you can add fake tiles to the game and it still works. So for example, if I built a second floor on this house, you can totally do it. As soon as you close the room, it counts as doubling the house, obviously. But if you sort of like sneak in a wall there, if you add the wall like this, the game doesn't see this as being a room. It just is a fake space. You can still put a roof on it. Well, I need a tile to put a roof on, hang on. <laughs> You can still put a roof on it as long as you've got the space to put a roof on it. It'll still function like it's indoors. It's just not indoors. It's fake. So that's a pro tip. That's what we're gonna try and do today. I want to try and make this house like actually good looking. I'm trying to fiddle with it. I probably shouldn't be doing it like this. <laughs> like I really should be prioritizing like the shape of the rooms that we need instead of just messing with it randomly. But picture this, right? Imagine there's a kitchen back here, like right when you enter the house. Is that gonna be the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know where to put the bathroom. I guess the bathroom could go like there. I don't know what that's gonna be. We don't have a toddler, so we don't need like toddler space. You wanna maximize every single tile when you're doing a house like this is the problem. So this is gonna end up looking like almost identical to the last one that I did. <laughs> I'm just realizing that now. This is gonna be like the exact same house that I did before. I'm trying to cheat the system. I don't want it to look like it's tiny. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. Okay. <laughs> okay, but picture this, right? Imagine the front door is here. And I guess maybe now the kitchen can be like, like that. I'm not sure I thought this through. <laughs> but like the kitchen being there makes sense. Oh, I suppose. Oh, a lot of times I do it like this. Oh, that makes sense. So the bathroom will go there. This is functional, by the way, because your Sims will walk across this shower. It could probably be even smaller than this, but we can make this work. <laughs> so I will. I might use some tiny living furniture. Yeah, I'm not sure if you could do this in a two tile. We'd have to check. I think with a smaller sink, maybe you could. And if you scoot the toilet like into the wall, I wonder, let me, you know what? I kind of want to, ah. <laughs> I kind of want to test this just to see. The toilet is coming out of the wall. Are you going to use it? Oh, he does use it. He's washing his hands. Can you shower? Oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you, sir, for showing me that that functions because then we can put like the two tile bathroom here or maybe on the other side. <laughs> I look kind of ugly there. We can put like a two tile bathroom here. And then what if, oh, it's kind of a weird spot. Okay, what if it was like this? I'm trying to think about ways that we can get like an actual bedroom for the parents. Cause wouldn't that be nice? But I'm not sure if we can pull that off. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. It would be good though, if we could. It just, I'm not, I'm not so sure it will. Well, we can give the parents their own bedroom. It just has to have bunk beds. But like the parents can have their own room. <laughs> they can have a really nice, fancy bedroom. Just the two of them. The kitchen doesn't work the way I want it to anymore. Part of what made the kitchen so effective was that it had the island. I realize, by the way, that this is like so much trial and error. Like it, it makes it so complicated for no reason. But listen, 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 it's gonna be really good. Perhaps, well, you can't put the parents' bedroom there because that was supposed to be the, the door to the patio. <laughs> what if the whole house becomes smaller? Will I regret that? No, don't be a room. <laughs> I don't have a ceiling. What if? Well, I don't have a ceiling still, so. But what if we put 
Does that work? Why? Give me a ceiling! Okay, there we go. But what if we end up putting like a, um, see I can't have a window, which is part of the problem, but if there was a Murphy bed, like here, the parents can use that as their bedroom. The island is kind of a problem. <laughs> the kitchen island is, is a genuine concern. But if we did it like this, then you have a couch, we can get a TV, bathroom's there. What if there was like a door to the patio here? Truthfully, I have no idea how I'm gonna manage to put a, like a ladder or something up here. Like, I don't know how we're gonna do that, but we'll figure it out. Well, that'll fit all the Sims. And then we can have like a desk or something. Oh, this is fine. I'm not sure if this is gonna work because of the, the island. Your Sims can't get through there. I think we need a smaller door. Doesn't even make a difference though. Like this door is fine. I really want more counter space. Where does the ladder go? Oh my God. Gosh, okay, um, <laughs> this is a disaster. That doesn't work. If the ladder were here, it would work, right? Yeah, because the Sims can get up that way. Okay. Oh no, we can make this fit. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so ugly. But look, then we can have like a table in the corner back here. Oh, bunk beds make this easy. There's so much space upstairs. There's so much room for activities. The fact that I could probably get like another one of these too is like actually kind of sad. Like the fact that we could totally make it bigger. That looks really weird from the back. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, look, 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 look. We'll get like a, oh, ew. I don't know what sort of columns to use yet. We'll have to think about that. Maybe I won't make it bigger. The lighting on this lot is terrible. It's so hard to build here. I don't know why I always do. What if I did it like that? I never use that window. It looks kind of weird. It, oh, that window is like right where the bed is. <laughs> That's fine. I should probably check if he can walk over here actually. Oh yeah, that's fine. And you can, I assume, put the bed down. There we go. Perfectly functional. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Go outside. Too many sims. Too many sims inside. Leave, 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 leave. Don't all come inside. Okay. I want a window in this little bathroom, but the shower is gonna be right in front of it. I guess that doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's so ugly. Okay, that's fine. It's cute. I like it. See, I don't really like that the windows are blocked by the bunk beds, but you can't really do anything about that. So and what am I gonna do? Not put a window here just because there's a bed in the way? That just looks odd. So same thing with down here. Like the, the bed is completely blocking the window, but I don't want to have no window because it looks even worse. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Like what if I put a window like that? Just com the bed's completely in front of it, but so it looks better from the outside. Bed or from the outside, get it? Cause there's a bed blocking it. Yeah, I feel like a scammer because I was able to make this house work with such little space. You know what I really wanna be able to do is use these and have the flooring look like that, but then the kitchen doesn't work anymore. But wouldn't that be fun? if the patio looked cute like that. Oh, I'd love that. Well, well, we, no, 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 we can cheat it. Like, what if it, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's odd, isn't it? I guess we haven't painted the house yet either, so it's hard to say what we'd wanna use. Shall we make it orange? Listen, when else can you paint a house orange? This is our chance, possibly our only chance. <laughs> oh, we definitely, yeah, we are, we're taking this chance to have an orange house. I really like it. And what if, hear me out, what if I had blue windows? Orange house, blue windows and doors. Thoughts on that? The lighting is terrible, I can't even see it. I think the, the blue looks really odd. <laughs> I don't know if we can make the blue work. I'm sorry. Maybe we can have a blue front door though. And we can just keep the windows the way they are. I never know what color roof to use when I make the house orange like this. I don't want to make it orange and black. It's not a pumpkin. Like it's not some sort of Halloween house. I'm just, I'm always so unsure of what the best course of action is. <laughs> now, what if we made a fake porch. Because honestly, I did kind of like the idea of having the pathway like this. I'm not sure if the giant fake porch is good. I don't like, I think that's actually probably fine. Maybe an extra window here. The windows look a bit weird, but it's a really small house. So any extra light is probably a good thing. I'm actually really excited about this because I can get toys and stuff now. Well, I should probably triple check that the Sims can in fact get upstairs. Let me see if the dad can get up here. Oh, here we go. Don't come inside. Stay out. Stay out. Everyone stay out. I should have put autonomy off. Okay, no, 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 don't come inside. All right, we're fine. House is functional. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with all the Sims inside, like blocking my view of furniture. There's not enough space to have Sims in here as well as furniture. I guess that's the whole point is to have Sims in here as well as furniture, but you know what I mean? We don't have enough space in the house as we're building it to look at both. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the color of the bed and then I'm gonna put it away and base the rest of the house on whatever it looks like, I think. How about that reddish color? I mean, the house is orange. Should we base the whole house off that? I don't know, that could be nice. We can make this work. Is it better to have the oven on the outside edge or the inside? I think I like it better on the outside. What if we put tile on part of the inside of the house? No, <laughs> I was just trying to see if that would be good. If like having some tile inside would like help split up, but no, that's unnecessary. <laughs> It'll be fine the way it is. I think we can definitely fit three chairs 
in the dining space. Why am I wasting money on trees right now? What am I doing? Like, why am I landscaping? I was in the middle of furnishing the house. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going back. Let's figure out the bathroom again. Oops, that's clipping. Okay, so we know that this sink worked. Is this sink skinnier, perhaps? Oh, it is. Okay, let's use that sink and we'll scoot it back even further. Okay, that'll work. And then the smallest toilet we can find. Actually, that should be fine. For some reason, I don't think the window's gonna fit. I mean, we probably could get a window like behind the toilet or something at least. I know we have like a little bitty one somewhere. How about that? <laughs> Just put that out of nowhere. No, we need something small and skinny. I mean, we can always use like a regular window. It's no big deal. I just kind of wanted it to be smaller, but it is nice to have the window inside. So that'll be fine. We also need to play test this. Get a big mirror so the place feels bigger and you can, you know, watch yourself pee. That's terrible. Let me turn autonomy off quickly because I am sick of my Sims just walking around randomly. Okay, can you wash your hands? Can you use the bathroom? And can you take a shower? Oh, she washed her hands. She peed and she's showering. Perfect. Thank you very much. Eight Sims to share this two tile tiny bathroom. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay, sorry. I've gone back to wasting money on plants. I just wanted the house to look good. <laughs> the house realistically is not good on the inside. Like it's fine. It's functional, but it's so small, like it's not good, but you can at least make the outside look decent. If we can't have furniture, at the very least, we can have flowers. Oh, we can totally fit a dresser next to this. That's actually perfect, because it's not a very big space, so being able to fit like a dresser and a bookshelf, very useful. You know what, I'm gonna be honest, I never got why the lamp they made for this pack was so big. <laughs> like, this is a tiny living pack, and they made this massive lamp. Like, I was kind of expecting a, like, a tall skinny stand-up lamp, but then they made this thing that is enormous and doesn't fit anywhere. Suddenly the house is red, okay? <laughs> you know what, I kind of like it though, it's kind of fun. I don't think I've used this swatch really before, so... You know, there's not a lot of space for a rug in here. I'd like to have one, because I think it would make a big difference. We can fit a little square rug. That would be nice. You know what else is kind of fun? We could totally have more than than just this number of sims in here. Like we could so easily probably have like 10 sims if I wanted to. Like if I tried hard enough, we could make it work. That makes me feel good. <laughs> it makes me feel powerful. You know what? I might use the more expensive beds. Not to be like a high roller or anything, but we actually have a lot of money, so my sims can afford it. These beds used to be in Parenthood, but now they're base game, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay, bunch of different bed options. That's kind of fun. I like that they all have like individual ones, you know? Oh, this reminds me. We really should probably try and get a dresser up here somehow. I think this one, size down, fits in a one Oh, we have tiny living we can use. I'm like, I'm trying to get a one tile wide dresser. Meanwhile, I have these. Like, this is fine. We have this to use. Okay, I was going to put a desk, but now that I think about it, if we used a table, we could have two computers and that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I, I think that having two computers up here would actually benefit us a lot. So there's just so many Sims. I feel like in an ideal world, we'll have something for each of them to be doing all at once. Like at all times, there is some sort of activity for every Sim. Actually, let's count that. There's two computers, so two Sims can sit there. Two Sims can watch TV at once. So that's four. I'll get a Blarfy. That's five. I mean, we have a bookshelf downstairs and a bookshelf up here. So we, the bookshelves count as something too. So that could be like six. Maybe if we had an easel somewhere. There's lots of space on the patio. We also have like this corner that I wasn't sure what to do with yet. I feel like ideally it would be a chair though, right? We need enough seating down here to fit everybody. <laughs> There's currently not even close to being enough. Well, that's three, six, seven, eight. There are eight seats total now. We can stick this violin here, right? That's another activity. I like this too because it kind of implies like the four children have this corner and the two teens have this corner. It's like split up a little bit, you know? It kind of makes sense. I don't know what kind of rugs to put in here. <laughs> I mean, should we get like a runner? That's weird. And like what wallpaper do we put up here? What, <laughs> what are you meant to use in a space like this? Oh, how about a cork board? That's a fun hobby. They can like, you know, find pen pals and stuff, whatever that means. Oh, fun hobby, here you go. Maybe I'll stick like a duck on the desk because they can play with the duck. That's another toy. I'm going to spend so much money decorating this kid's room. I haven't put any decorations downstairs yet. So I'll, I'll stop there. I think I'll use this fun wallpaper. The teens would benefit from that. This isn't even that small of a room, to be honest. All things considered, like they got a big space up there. I might use this like orangey tile. That would be really nice in there actually. I like that. Oh. 
Toilet paper? We probably need a lot of that. There are eight people living here. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to think about other possibly functional things that we could stick in here. Like, we already have a bookshelf, we have the TV, fully functional kitchen. I don't really want to put, like, any more decorations in the kitchen because I want them to really use the counters. I think that would be important. <laughs> I feel like having access to the counters would be really useful for them. I mean, we could just tile the kitchen a little bit. Maybe if there was, like, some art and some plants, perhaps? This coat rack is, like, actually useless in the game, but I think it's kind of fun. It's realistic to have some sort of storage, right? Oh, the artwork is so expensive. <laughs> it's like 295 simoleons for that. Why does it have to cost so much? Maybe if we had a mirror on the wall? Okay. I don't know what else to add on the inside, really. I mean, it's pretty good. Let's focus on the backyard a little bit. Got the easel still. Oh, you know, we could totally have a giant table out here. Or at least another table. <laughs> because then technically everyone would have a spot to sit while they eat, which they deserve. <laughs> Let's be honest, that would be nice, I guess. Also an outdoor trash can. Okay, I think we did it. It's also technically only 29 tiles, so I could have had three more. I mean, I sort of cheated to have a bunch more than three more, <laughs> but technically it's only 29 tiles, which is pretty good if you ask me and you can fit eight sims. It also doesn't look that small. Like, I feel like the inside feels fine. I'm into it. I will, of course, put this on the gallery for you. Eight sim micro home. Should I put it at like eight bedrooms? <laughs> it's eight bedrooms and one bathroom. Okay, that works. There you go. Technically, it's actually zero bedrooms, but that's fine. It, it fits eight sims, so I like this upstairs room. It's kind of fun. I feel like it would be a nightmare to actually live here with like your five siblings. What is this, summer camp? Like, <laughs> that sounds scary, but the house works. So I think on that note, I'm gonna go. I'll link my past attempts at this down below back in the pre-bunk bed eras in case you wanted to watch me try that too. And um, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. The lighting really is terrible on this lot. They don't make it easy to make nice houses here. It just looks ugly no matter what you do.